So here I am helping the cops. So here I am helping the cops, and we have a trunk full of marijuana. Frank, aka Fernando, aka Feeney, is a roommate and a friend of mine. He owns a new 1976 silver Chevy Monte Carlo. He bought it new and paid for it in cash. It's the perfect car for a young Italian guy. And that's who Frank is? A young Italian guy. Frank, and another roommate of mine Randy, and I are on Highway 427 in the Monte Carlo. We have just picked up a suitcase full of pot from our supplier. We have enough pot in the trunk to put us all away for a couple of years. We are on our way back home now to Thornhill where we live with another friend. The four of us all split the rent on a house on Langstaff Road East in Thornhill. We are northbound on Highway 427 and traffic is moving well, but slow. Soon the traffic came nearly to a stop. We could see the lights of the cop cars up ahead. This was early November and there had been a snowfall that afternoon. The type of heavy wet snow that made the highways treacherous. It wasn't cold enough for the roads to be frozen. And a thin layer of water formed between the snow cover and the surface of the road. These are the worst conditions possible. It's slipperier than black ice. If you didn't have good tires, you wouldn't have a chance. Even though Frank had good tires he was taking it slow and easy. Up ahead we could see a car had slid off the road. That must have been why the cops were there with lights flashing. The officers themselves were out on the road waving traffic on with their little red flashlights. Traffic was now moving very slowly. Cars were having a difficult time climbing up a slight grade. They were slipping and sliding everywhere. The spinning action of all the car tires had made the roads even worse. That's when Frank pulled the car over to the side of the highway and parked. We got out of the car to help get things moving. We made our way on foot up to the front of the line of spinning wheels and sliding cars and started pushing. The way I see it is we had a trunk full of pot, and the sooner we got out of there, and as far away from the cops as possible, the better. We certainly did not want to be stopped by the cops. In those days we were always paranoid of police, period. We needed to become three good guys by pushing cars. We would be above suspicion. We were just three young people helping to push cars on a slippery road. We pushed car after car. The cops noticed us helping out. We were good guys, not paranoid pot dealers with a trunk full of weed. When it was our turn to leave, we drove by slowly. The cops waved us on with smiles and said thanks fellas. We waved back with smiles and said, no problem, and headed back to Thornhill. Just three long-haired freaks on their way home with a trunk full of pot. True.